Hi, today we will be discussing a problem based on arrays. The problem statement is find kth smallest element in two sorted arrays. We have already seen this problem how to find kth smallest element in a single array which is unsorted. We use their quicksort and we use minhip publications uh, in order to find the case kth smallest element in a non-sorted array. Here the problem is that we have two sorted arrays and we have to find kth smallest element in these two combined sorted arrays. I take these as my array A and array B and I ask for like k equals to 5 that means fifth smallest element in these two arrays. That means if I combine these two arrays what will be the fifth smallest element in these two arrays. So one way or the brute force solution of this problem is we can combine these two arrays and find the case smallest element. We we all know that to merge two sorted array is nothing but using the merge operation of merge sort and if I use that and I merge these two arrays so the output will be something like this. So if I have to find kth smallest element or the fifth smallest element in this example I will count from the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is my fifth smallest element. So in I have fifth smallest element in array A. But in this, I need extra m plus n space because when I merge this, I have to have a storage or a temporary storage which can store all the elements and then I can go on to the resultant array and get the k minus 1 index. That will return me k smallest. Now the question is, do we need to scan all the elements in order to merge the two things, two arrays or can we do better? without using this space. Can we make any calculated guess where we can discard some portion of the array so that we know that the case smallest element can't lie beyond this point or can't lie before this point. So let's see how this can be done. Let's take an example. These are my two arrays. Let's say A and let's say B. I have like not written any numbers into this because they are irrelevant right now. Uh, right now. Now let's say size of this is called as size of A and this is size of B and this can be same or different it doesn't matter. Now what should I do to discard some portion of the arrays what I will do is I, if I have to find kth smallest element in combination of these two arrays what I will do I will go to k by 2 element in array A and k by 2 element in array 2. K is 7 then I'll go to element number 3 and I'll go to element number 3 in array. What I'll do? Element of interest in this array and this is my element of interest in my this array. Let's call it I and let's call it J. What shall I do is I'll compare A of I with B of J. Now best case or the best part of the algorithm comes that is to discard what elements now what there are three conditions if a of i is equals to a of bj or a of i is less than b of j or a of i is greater than b of what happens when a of i is less than b of j that means there are still elements there are the possibility of elements on to the right hand side of i which are still less than b of j that means those elements needs to be counted in k smallest element because if i take a of j as k smallest element then there are possibility that there are elements onto the right hand side of i which are smaller than this b of j so these must be included into the k smallest element those should be counted so k smallest element lies onto this part of array in this case and there are elements which are less than b of j because this is a sorted array so b of j will always be greater than b of j minus 1 so there are less than b of j elements onto this part so our kth smallest element may be in this part so these are the two parts we have to look because our kth smallest element can't be in this part why because we have splitted this into k by 2 plus k by 2. So, max to max, it should be within 
these elements plus this element and max to max these elements it can't be beyond this point it can't be less than this point because we have to contract this array and we have to expand this array as it is less than b of j hope this point is clear now the second case when a of i is greater than a of j sorry b of j so let's say this was my i and this was my j and a of i is greater than b of j that means all the elements which are on this side are also greater than b of j because these are sorted arrays right and all the elements which are on this side of b of j are smaller than b of j because this is again a sorted array now since we are looking at k k smallest element there is a possibility that there is j plus 1th element which is still less than a of i or j of plus j plus 2 element which is still less than a of i so we have to include those elements before we include a of i right that's why we will look into this portion of the array and there might be case where when we are in including j plus 1 we can't include ith element because we are have split array by k by 2 and k by 2 if we are increasing something on array b we have to decrease something on array a so we will be looking into this part of the array so in both the cases we have discarded one part of the array each array actually so let's formalize the algorithm that is a a of i is less than a of j that is the previous case in this case that case what we were doing we are looking into look in right side of a of i and left side of b of j and if a of i is greater than a of sorry this is b this is b of j then look in left side of a of i and right side of b of what should be the base condition what should be the base condition in this case because we can't just go on till comparing everything if we finish comparing one array and we have gone out of this boundary only k smallest element will be the k minus size of in this case if i have fallen out of b then k of size of me uh, b a of that index that will be the k smallest element let's say if my size of 8 and if i am looking at let's say seventh smallest or ninth smallest element and all the elements in array b are smaller than the initial element of a then what will happen we will increase till this and we'll go till 8 and now we'll subtract a of k is 9 minus size of b that is a of 1 minus 1 because uh, we have zero based index and k is absolute number so we'll give a of 0 as our ninth smallest element because all the eight elements are smaller and the first element in the a is ninth smallest element so base condition is that one of the array when it finishes the we have to return the other arrays k minus size minus that array size the finished array size and if if k becomes 1 if we are like when we are looking into this part again right or left part our k will divided by half now we have to look for k divided by half not exactly half but it has to be based on the condition uh, whether we are looking into this part or this part it can be k minus i or k minus j so if k becomes 1 at any time we will just return the minimum of minimum of a of k minus 1 as i said it's a zero based index so and k of k minus b of k minus 1 so this is whole of our algorithm let's uh, try to implement it this is signature of our function and first thing we will do is check the base condition that is a size of a is greater than size of b uh, or we have an inherent assumption that array sorry we have to pass array in we have assumption that size of array is always less than size of b if that is not the case then we'll just swap these arrays and pass uh, call again the same function that is return 
find care and will pass b a size b and size a and k as itself this is the just swapping the array so we always know the size of a is less than size of b because our next base condition is such that if size of a that means smaller elements or the smaller array becomes zero and there are elements into the second array that is b of size of b is greater than zero then we'll return as i said in the algorithm b of a minus one this is our base condition and the other ba base condition of this algorithm was if k is equals to equals to one then that means the return minimum of a of as i said k minus one it, it will be in indirectly it will be a of zero and b of now after coming out of these base cases what is our recursion cases as i we said if a of i a and what what will be the i and j first so i and i will equals to minimum of size of a and k by 2 whichever is minimum has to be i because we can't go out of array so we have taken this into consideration while taking the minimum of the size of a or k by 2 that means if the size of array is only two elements and we are looking for the seventh element k by 2 will be 3 so we'll just take size of a not 3 because we can't access the third element there and j will be equals to minimum of size of b and k by 2 once we have done this our conditions come into picture that is a a of i in this case we are taking size of a and k by 2 we have to take minus 1 because 0 based index is less than b of j minus 1 then in this case when a of i is less than b of j we have to return or we have to check into right part of a so we'll part a plus i that is right part of a left part of b will start from the base index of array b and the size of a will now decrease by size of a minus i because we have discarded i a elements and size of b will become j because now we are looking at only j elements first j elements and how many items we need to look we have already found i small k uh, i smallest elements in th these two arrays in terms of a's elements so we'll look for k minus i elements right so we'll just call the function oh sorry i forgot find k s and we'll pass these array uh, parameters to this call now other way around if it is greater than then we'll just return find care now we'll pass left side of the array a right part of the array b now size of array will become i because the first i i elements and size of b become this size of b minus j and now since we have already found j smallest elements in these two arrays we'll find only k minus j smallest element in this call so this is the whole recursive implementation of the function the complexity of this algorithm will be o of log of m plus n that means we will be every time dividing m plus n space in roughly half space uh, either some more elements discarded in a and some less element discarded in b but roughly combination of these half of the elements will be discarded in each step so if i combine these two and take log of that will be the complexity of this algorithm and the best part is there is no re no space requirement even though there is inherent space requirement due to recursive calls that is a system stack but uh, no explicit user space requirement for this program thank you very much for watching this video subscribe to channel and watch new videos uploaded thank you very much